fluctuations in Fowler accounts came from organic account closures after being flooded with user reports of high-profile accounts losing thousands of followers after news broke that Elon Musk would purchase the social network. Twitter did not provide an exact number of accounts that were shuttered or activated hours after the ownership announcement, but it was said that it was looking into recent fluctuations. A loaded gun was found in North Carolina U.S. Representative Mattis, Madison Cawthorn's carry-on bag at an airport security checkpoint Tuesday, the second time he has been stopped with a gun at an airport in the past 14 months. When Cawthorn went through checkpoint D at Charlotte Douglas International Airport with the gun, a 9mm staccato C2 around 9 a.m. TSA officers notified Charlotte Mecklenburg police officers on standby in the area. Responding officers identified the 26-year-old Republican as the owner of the bag where the gun was found. He was issued a citation for possession of dangerous weapon on the property, a misdemeanor. Cawthorn was released, but police held on to the firearm as is routine. The infraction is punishable by civil penalties, including a fine of up to $13,900, depending on certain factors, such as whether a firearm is loaded and multiple offenses. This was the second time a gun has been found on Cawthorn's person in an airport. The first time was being in Ashenville Regional Airport checkpoint in February 2021. The body of Eddie O. Mm. Hernandez was a 26-year-old male. Found, he was found underwater in Pompeii. He was last seen to be alive Monday at 3 p.m. near the large pond at his workplace where the sheriff office, office's underwater search and recovery team would find him at around 2.30 on Tuesday. The investigation into the case is still ongoing and, death, and cause of death is pending an autopsy. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, SM. Please make sure you check out the new features on the English Bulletin Board next to the English office and across from B41. The features is titled The Artisan Dismantling and Barriers Between the Rap and Poetry. Though the two forms remain distant, today's rising stars in both genres are creating a shared literacy ideal that great voice of the black and brown experience. Yo Club will have a meeting Thursday, April 28th after school in the library. Wear comfortable clothes and bring a friend. Maths will be Friday. Join us as we celebrate and prepare for the fourth marking period. See Miss Welsh or Miss Fulner with any questions. Namaste. Please support the ESM Central High School Pride Program at Trappers East Syracuse on 5-2-22. ESM Central High School PBIS is sponsoring Dine for Dollars fundraiser at Trappers on Butternut Drive, East Syracuse on Monday, May 2nd at 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. That supports ESM Central High School's Pride. Spartan Pride will get 50% off all menu items ordered at this time. It applies for dine-in and takeout orders. Grab some lunch and or dinner at the District Staff Development Day. The ESM Central High School PBS community would entirely appreciate your support. at 4.30. Girls softball plays at home against Fulton at 5 and boys lacrosse plays at Auburn at 7 and I'm Tanner with your sports. Well that's for all for our show today ESM so for me and everyone else at the morning show have an awesome day.